Right guys, just a quick video. I've noticed something about my PSUs, right? Um, I noticed that the top one um, didn't used to work. They used to just cut out whenever you used to turn the amp on. So I'm just testing them all out individually because when you parallel them up, they all kind of power each other sort of thing. Right, so let's turn this one on. This one makes a bit of a strange noise. It used to make, it, it, it used to make a really strange sort of, you know, hissing noise when I used to have it on. It's doing it a little bit now. Right, now this one on its own, on standby with no load, is, you know, Got about 12.5 volts, which is the highest I've ever had all of them on, you know. Right, so turn the amp on, let's see what happens. Dips to 11.6, and how high can I go on the bass? Right, so let's do clicks, okay? One, two, three, four. Right, so four clicks, and it's down to 11.1. Which isn't too good, right? Uh, four clicks, five clicks, it's down to ten. Six clicks, ten point six. Seven clicks, ten point five. Ten point four. Seven clicks, ten point two. Eight clicks, ten. Right, so eight clicks and it's on ten. Right, let's see what the others can do. Right, this next one's the weakest of all my PSUs. This is a 7 amp PSU, which is really weak. And look, that's idling on 11.4 without the amp even on. So when I turn the amp on, let's see if it dips. No, mm, it's bad. It's sort of stable. Right, so I'm getting 11.5 with the amp on stable, which is a lot lower than the top PSU. So let's see what you can do on the load. One click, two clicks, three clicks. Four clicks. What is going up? Five, ten clicks. Holy shit, that's completely thrown me. Eleven clicks. What the fuck? Fifteen clicks. I am totally baffled. I have no clue what's going on now. I'm absolutely lost. That's what the fuck? This top PSU. Right, it's rated for, I think it's 10 amps, right? It idles at 12.4, 12.5, and as soon as you bring any load into it, it dips down to about 10 volts, right? This one is a 7 amp PSU, idles at about 11.4 or something, and then as soon as you put a load onto it, it ups that, it ups that voltage to about 11.7, and then continues to be able to hold that same voltage up until like 20 clicks. It's like, what the fuck? So I've got a feeling this one's got a fault somewhere. Let's try the uh, let's try the most powerful one here. I've got I think it's a 16 amp. Right, third PSU, idling at about 11.7, which is higher than my 7 amp one. Uh, now let's put the amp on. Uh, stays about the same. And now let's whack a load. Right, one click, two clicks, three clicks, eleven clicks, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, perfect, there you go, 16, 17, 18, right, so there you have, I have dis right, discovered the problem, and the issue is this top PSU, right, this is, um, oh shit, uh, I think it's about a 10 amp PSU, um, is the problem with it is, is it idles on about 12.5, whereas these two idle on about 11.7, right? So you would think this one's better, right? However, as soon as you give this one a load, up to sort of five clicks, it dips down to about 10 volts, whereas these stay constant all the way up to 15, 20 clicks um, at 11.5, 11.6. So I'm going to take this one out of the equation. Bye-bye. And hopefully I should be able to crank it a bit more. Right, now I've wired the two good ones in, uh, in parallel and I whacked it on the amp. And uh, it idles at 11.76, which is good, which is what they was doing before, with the amp on. And let's crank the amp up quite a lot. That's good, right? This volume, it would have cut out before. I've hooked up the batteries and the two good PSUs.
keeping my crazy bass staying at about 11.5, which is quality, not what I used to do before. I used to drop like too low. Ah, great, great. 